This is a story of Dave and Sharon finally living their dreams of sailing to the Caribbean and beyond. Join us while we share our adventures from getting the boat ready and embarking on our cruising life. Back to familiar territory. We're coming into um, coming into Hampton area. Over there, shipyards and stuff, Hampton. Over here, that's Port Monroe. That little building, I don't know if you can see that sticking up. Two boats that we ended up coming all the way down with, some people we met yesterday. Uh, up the last anchorage, they're going to come to this anchorage as well. We're going to pull the heat exchanger off and rot it out, see if, see if we get pieces in it. Um, right now I'm draining the system. The heat exchanger is back in here, underneath here. We've seen that before. And uh, I'm gonna put this bag down to protect the batteries and stuff from getting salt water and everything else on them. And it's not gonna be easy one to get out. Not gonna be easy to get out. And I think I've got a little pinhole in my head gasket. There's the head right there. I got I have a little pinhole in there because I'm still have a little steam coming out when I'm going and this over over quite a few hours, a lot of hours has gone down a little. So I've got a little pinhole that's putting the uh, antifreeze through. So this whole big thing right here, this whole big thing right here is the head. Uh -huh. And this has to come off, and this has to come off. And I, th and, I, and I think my, uh, I'm not sure if the, uh, no, I don't think that the ex heat exchanger has to come off again. If I take it apart, I'm gonna see what it costs just to do a valve job on it too, because the valves are in the head. So if, uh, if I take it apart, it's worth just having the valve job done on it. It's 36, 37 years old. That's That would be the least inexpensive way to go. Everything else is pretty new on the motor anyway. <laughs> So this is a, I don't know, liver cleansing diet. Eat all this really good stuff. My turn, <laughs> turn red. Mine must be red too. <laughs> Eat all this really good stuff. Beets, shredded, who knows. All these lovely concoctions you have to drink and drink and drink. Oh, here's more. We could, This is our afternoon snack. And then somewhere we have Oh, and by the way, there's no, no time to do anything else because you have to prepare food and you have to drink and eat the stuff all day long. <laughs> so there's no time to do anything else. <laughs> Today we got up and I had to, um, we had to use these blenders and juicers. So I'm near, running the generator and, uh, so I turned it on today and all of a sudden the temperature went high. So this morning I um, put a new um, 
What's that called? <laughs> Impeller. Impeller in it. That was part of the problem. The other part of the problem is I've been having an awful hard time trying to get the um, uh, belt tight on it. With it, it. Uh, so finally, I snuck up under there with some different wrenches and 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 got the um, alternator tight enough to keep the belt tight. Because I, I think what happened was uh, the belt was too loose, and. Uh, and, and the, it got overheated and spilled out a little bit of the um, coolant. So now it's been running for hours now and running fine. So hopefully that keeps up. But we do have to run this most of the day so we can use these. Um, so we can use these uh, machines, machines here. here. Juicer, normally we would be able, you know, if we had a good batteries house battery set in here we'd be able to run them on the solar but um, we just have lead acid right now and uh, in the future we'll see what we're going to go with and that should allow us to run stuff on it uh, all right we are leaving hampton norfolk virginia area we were here for a couple weeks didn't do a whole lot except grocery shopping. We did go over and got together with the Salty Dog group and uh, did a little jamming. Go. So now we're leaving, and here it goes. This was a good anchorage as usual. And we're out. We're gonna go stop at Cobb's Marina, about an hour and a half uh, south of here to fuel up and water up and then head down our our hopes are however long it takes to get to Charleston if, it, if it's too rough and we get tired of it we'll duck into uh, Cape Outlook Cape Lookout Cape sorry yeah Cape Lookout where we've been a bunch of times before all right so we're making our way down towards uh, weather we just been really rocky and rolly um, nothing nothing big about um, four foot waves or so with a five foot period so we just came around uh, Cape Hatteras it was a little rough on the north side of it quite rough but uh, yeah it was like six six foot waves but they were short period so it was it was kind of rough and then uh, once we got around the point, it's calmed down quite a bit. And so now, uh, my autopilot went again. Same thing, I, it will correct to uh, port, but not to starboard. So that's it's gonna probably end up being those transistors. And might be something else in there that's causing them to go. you something we went through that storm last night this mat was under the kayak here that's my wash off hose that did okay but I want you to see this anchor see how that's just hanging here thing took a beating last night that thing took a beating last night I mean the anchors okay but I always put a short pennant and I use the same pennant and tie it short but you can make a short pennant always put a short pennant on here even though on these uh, mangoes they have a locking mechanism for your anchor which I rarely use it's a real pain getting that on and off 
but this will save your anchor for dropping off and all your chain from being taken out. Right. Ah, and the next thing you do is you put this short pennant after you put this anchor chain out. Put that on. Put some more out. And now you're going to have either U reverse or Sharon reverses. Set that anchor. Let it swing this way if it will. So we're going to give her, I gave her back and asked her to swing it. Boop. What I'm going to do is uh, feed out, have it feed out the chain. And now I'm going to tell her to pause, tell her to go to neutral. There is a current here pushing us back as well. So we're just going to let that drag set the anchor. So the anchor sat pretty well, but I'm going to have her reverse just in gear set it more make sure that baby's set and then we're going to let some more chain out that's set now i'm going to have her reverse again i'm going to pull on that baby This is sand here. That's going nowhere. All right. So, and now what I'm going to do is let some more chain out and then put the uh, pennant on it. And I'll put the pennant on it. I'll, I'll go full length on the pennant. about seven to one uh, it's probably a little over which is fine um, it, I don't think it I don't think it really hurts to uh, dump more chain out it just adds some more weight and when it drags will help dig it back in if, if you uh, turn the anchor we are now on our way looks like we have good sailing and now we're gonna try to make it to uh, Charleston South Carolina
Oh, so we're trying hard to sail downwind at some point, and the wind keeps catching, and it moved our boom, and I thought it broke the rigging right there. See how it's all up there? And I have a line coming down here, and I have it on this winch just to hold it, and then I have because we're running the uh, Genoa as a storm sail a little bit, I have that over here to this winch. <laughs> kind of Mickey Mouse that. And I have a preventer holding the boom. And no nothing broke, it was just a, um, a U-bolt that, that came unscrewed. So I need to go up and wire all those U-bolts. Oh, and there's no autopilot. Oh yes, and no autopilot again. And no sleep. And no sleep. <laughs> Welcome to sailing. <laughs> We're still smiling though. <laughs> I was trying to get the alternator running and it's a matter of the um, service alternator, the one that um, the one that charges the batteries when the motor's running. And I was testing it out to make sure that I've got the right wires by disconnecting everything uh, with a, off the power. Uh, off the positive terminal and then running the engine with a multimeter on there see if I kick off 12 volts uh, with the right way but I couldn't get the motor started and I've had some problems it's it's the motor's been starting a lot of times it will start great but a lot of times when it just sits for a while it was hard to start and sometimes I had to jump it from the um, uh, generator battery uh, give it a little more juice even though the starter battery was well charged up and the starter battery is brand new so I'm pretty sure it's not that and so I took the starter motor out I had a spare brand new spare and so here's the here's what I found yeah look at that split right off yeah now, unfortunately, the starter motor I have is the wrong part number. It's got that, it's got the opening for the um, stator on the uh, wrong side. So, we are now sitting here in Fernandina, Fernandina Beach, Florida, uh, anchored out. I um, have been calling around trying to find a starter. We're good at this anchorage until we can get that starter motor. And then when I get down to, um, uh, when we get down to uh, Cape Canaveral, I'll order another one for a backup. St. Augustine. And the bridge all lit up. And tour boats everywhere. See if you can see that. Maybe not. Tour boat here. See if we can see this one. There we go. Tour boat. Here's our daytime shot of St. Augustine, Florida. We came in at night been my I don't know fourth time in and out of this Sharon's third and uh, the nighttime was a little harrowing <laughs> just confusing with the lights there's a wicked current uh, and a very tight anchorage here yep, so here we are leaving st. Augustine it was a very calm anchorage, as, as always. So we're on our way out. So here we are, back in Cape Canaveral. Two slots, 
what was it? Two slots over. That's our buddy boat. Um, seduction. Seduction. A male mango. 86, I think it was. And we're what? 84. Uh, His number. <laughs> no, 46. And this is our good friend, Phil and Leslie, friends, with Tiny next to us. So we're in a different slot. We're here for three months. We picked up a three monther. Got to do some work on the engine. Now the generator. Upgrade the. Um, Auto, uh, B and G. B and, yeah, put a B and G system in. And Auto autopilot. Pilot. Whatever. Else. And everything else is required, so we don't have to go through this again. <laughs> it was um, a lovely trip. Shake your head this way. <laughs> it was rough. Uh, yesterday was about the best day. I think we had one other good day, all the way down from New England. Uh, down, down. Uh, no, we had a couple. We days. had a couple, but most of it was hand steering, and most of it was really sideways waves. Some of them humongous. And um, yesterday was good. Then last night we had to put the sails down, and we were sideways to them again, and they were short periods, so we were rocking and rolling. Oh well. Uh, that's sailing life, but we're here, gonna make the best of it, get some stuff done. We want to say thank you to all of our viewers who have subscribed and commented. We appreciate your support and feedback. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps us build our channel up so we can keep bringing you more videos.